I don't really know where to start this video. Um, there's not a beginning, it don't seem like, to it. But, um, I've gotten a really good whooping from the Lord the last few days. And, uh, maybe if I share mine with you, um, maybe it can help you to maybe not have to get your own whooping. Maybe you can learn from mine. I, um, I found out yesterday um, that someone that I used to be very close with passed away. Now, I'm going to try to make this very long story short for the sake of the video. But, you know, I feel bad even saying that I used to be close to, you know, but things in life, circumstances in life, changes in life, um, sometimes changes us. And, uh, it's kind of the situation here. Um, me and this particular person were, um, brought together in this life by our mutual love for um, the same person. Um, I was related to this person and um, they were married to him. And as a result, we became close. And um, <laughs> the person that was mutual to us passed away many years ago and me and um and this particular person we we kept in touch i guess 20 years has went by if not more and um just seemed like i don't know each passing year you know um communication become a little a little more distant a little more distant and here's where the whipping came in from the Lord yesterday morning I'm headed into work and I get a message now got ahead of myself I spoke to this person the last time by phone about five months ago. She had called me to tell me that um, she was having some surgeries done and, and just was just talking. Um, might have talked 15, 20 minutes. Um, she had no family um, and um, <laughs> Our mutual tie passed away. My parents passed away. Her parents passed away. Um, she didn't have any brothers or sisters, no children. Um, and I have um, just my husband and my daughter, um, soon to be son-in-law and granddaughter now. But um, we had talked many times through the years about how um, it seemed like, you know, life just wasn't fair and, and how you know, out of our families, we kind of got left behind as the last one still standing, you know, so to speak. But I said all that to say this. Um, we had a lot in common, but she started um, taking, let's say, taking a, a little different road in life than I had chose to take. And, um, It never changed my love for her, ever. Um, nor the love that that our mutual party had for her. Um, but I felt like, as a Christian, how many times do we justify in life the things we do by saying as a Christian? 
But I felt like, as a Christian, I needed to distance myself. I kept in touch. But I knew that she was going down a path that she knew wasn't right. And instead of going to great lengths through the years to try to help her, I distanced myself from her. And I'm not saying not to distance yourself because I was right to distance myself, but I, sh I should have done more. I should have done more. I should have tried harder. So yesterday I get the message that she's passed away Saturday and um, basically that um, she's still at the morgue at the hospital and there are some other folks um, in the picture um, and you know I don't know they may do what's right I don't know but I just want to make sure to do the right thing. I want, I just want to make sure she has the proper burial. I want to make sure for the mutual party that we had that loved us both. I want to make sure that I honor his memory in making sure she's took care of in death. And I was talking to God yesterday about where we were in our lives 30 years ago. Um, we were all involved in church. Um, in fact, the mutual party was a preacher. Um, and somehow, some, somehow the devil um, got involved in her life and um, she strayed away and, and instead of and instead of trying to help her I said as a Christian I should distance myself here's the clincher when I was talking to God yesterday You know what he said? He said, When was the last time that you called her name out in prayer? I prayed for her through the years. But I don't know when the last time was that I called her name out. Knowing the shape she was in. We get busy in life. We get, we get distracted in life. We get stressed out. We get... That's that's normal. We're we're gonna do that. But how easy it is to say I don't want to be in that. I don't need to be in that. I, I need to separate myself. I need to distance myself. I, I need I just need I just need <laughs> I could have done all that and still called her name out in prayer. You know, that's one of the greatest that's one of the greatest privileges that we have in this world is to be able to openly and freely and heartfully pray for one another and we take it for granted you know 
I'll watch somebody doing something. I'll be like, you know, one of these days, you know, it's going to come back. It's going to, they're going to realize one of these days. And then that's it. Do I go home and call their name out in prayer? Not like I should. Not like I should. So this girl whom I used to be so close to, who had such a mutual tie with me, who was living right, died alone. And I don't know if anybody was calling her name out in prayer. That's on me now. I'll live with that one for the rest of my life. But just let it be a reminder to you. When you see somebody's hurting, when you see somebody's going down the wrong path, when you, you know, don't just say, they'll figure it out someday, or I gotta distance myself. It's okay to distance yourself, it's uh, yes. By all means, I'm not saying partake of things that, that you shouldn't be partaking of, but don't leave it at that. Call their name out in prayer. It's the greatest honor we have is to pray for one another. Do it faithfully. I love y'all.